If you own or are thinking of investing in a rental property, the key piece of information you'll need is how much rent can you charge? Hi, this is Greg Powers with Keller Williams Metropolitan, and this is Real Estate Smarts in roughly under three minutes. So if you're trying to decide how what a typical rent is in your area, um, you have a little bit of a, a problem. Uh, unlike houses, most of which get listed in a single database, the Multiple Listing Service, or MLS, uh, rentals get posted in a, a number of different uh, places, and not every landlord or property manager will put them in all of those places. Uh, some do get listed in the MLS, so with a realtor. Um, some landlords only advertise on Craigslist. You'll find some on Zillow, Apartments.com, Facebook Marketplace. Um, so if you really want a comprehensive overview, you kind of have to hit a variety of, of information sources, which takes a little bit of time, but it's not the end of the world. Now, I did address that question in a much longer video several months ago, uh, but I want to give you a digest version here and discuss another tool that's available to you now. Now, Craigslist is a very popular place for landlords to post their rentals because you can do it for free. Um, some of the other sites do require a fee uh, and sometimes a commission to an agent. So Craigslist is, is a good starting point. And they've actually just added a tool that I discovered a few days ago, which is very useful, and I'd like to show that to you. So if you go into Craigslist, uh, you can click on Apartments and Housing here, and you've got the, the list of available properties all over the state, um, and they're really entered, sorted by the date they were entered. Um, but the new feature that Craigslist added is this little graph over here. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in on that and see how that's useful. So let's say you have a two bedroom, one bath apartment and you want to see roughly what uh, other landlords are charging. So you can come over here to the graph, plug in two beds, two beds, one bath. Okay, so that gives you a fairly narrow uh, bell curve. Um, if you click on this graph, you'll see it turns into some sliders and you can create a range that's fairly wide or really all you need is a narrow range here. Um, but if you hover over that until the hand appears, you can slide that back and forth, as you can see. So if you want to be just slightly under the average to hopefully attract a good pool of applicants, uh, you can slide this just to the left of that middle bar. And you'll see if the average is 1670, you could charge 1600, 1660 to be uh, below that. Um, if you have no off-street parking, no laundry, no storage, other things that would make the apartment uh, really appealing, then you can kind of you know look at the lower end of the range. Um, so that's very fairly useful. Now obviously that range we just saw, uh, the average was for apartments all over the state and you're not really competing with the entire state. So let's say you have a, your apartment is in Manchester. So you can come up to the top here and just type in Manchester and then you'll see there are 264 apartments available uh, on Craigslist. Again, this may not include what appears on Zillow, on Apartments.com, etc. We're just looking at uh, Craigslist here. Um, so let's say you decide, okay, I want to probably charge $15.20 uh, for my apartment. So let's type in Fourteen fifty to sixteen fifty. So again, it creates that range for you. And then, if you go up to Manchester again and hit Enter, it's only going to return the results that fall within that range. So now you have forty apartments that you're competing with, and you can sort these by lowest to highest, um, just to kind of get a feel for things. And you could compare. You know, if you allow pets or pay for the heat, those sorts of things, you can compare yours to these available apartments and then decide on a price you feel comfortable with. So if you're interested in purchasing a rental property or have some that you want to sell and perhaps trade up, or if you need help screening tenants uh, or any questions about the whole process, feel free to give me a call. 
Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel or my blog, and I'll look forward to speaking with you someday. Thanks.